Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 7th. The first card you have this week is the Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds, uh, another hardworking week for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, I mean, you've been focused on work for the most part uh, for a while now. Even, I mean, even if you're focused on other things, it's like you're working regardless. So uh, this is all about work, the work that we do. Uh, this is a return of energy as well. This is a big message for Scorpio. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm just repeating myself like week after week uh, a lot of times, but you know, Scorpio, definitely, you know, you're entering into a time where you can put energy into things that haven't worked for you in the past, and they'll work for you now, but you have to put the work in. Eight of Diamonds is definitely a work card. I mean, if you're stuck anywhere in your life, if you're stuck trying to get a job, trying to get a relationship, wherever you're stuck, it doesn't matter. Uh, put more work into those areas. Work as hard as you possibly can uh, and, and do you know whatever you can to, to try to make it happen. The, the Eight of Diamonds rewards multiple things as well. So it rewards like trying multiple different ways of, of making something happen. Like if you're trying to get a job and you can't for whatever reason, the Eight of Diamonds says, well, you need to send in your resume to places, you need to apply to places, and you need to like go into places and, and try to talk to the owner or something along those lines. It's like it's one of those things where it really rewards doing many different things to try to make something happen. So a lot of you have that energy. But this is also more money returning to you, even things that maybe you feel like you have lost in the past. If you feel like you've lost money or something like that, you put energy into something. Uh, this is that energy returning. Uh, next, you have the Six of Spades. Very similar message. It's the energy returning in a lot of ways and things like that. But more importantly, the Six of Spades is instant karma. It's the instant karma card. It says, like, you know, anything you do this week, it's going to return to you instantly. So if you put out bad things, you do bad things to people or whatever, it's going to come back and it's going to hit you and it, it's going to be negative. I, I feel like for 2016, this was a big theme for Scorpios because uh, I think I do believe it came up for your uh, 2016 reading. So it's obviously an energy that's starting like right now, that instant karma thing where you really want to make sure you're doing the right thing this week with this card and, and for the rest of 2016 as well. Uh, but again... This can work in your favor. You do some good things, you work hard, then it's going to come right back to you. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Clubs, uh, probably the most psychic card in the deck, all about using your psychic abilities, uh, using your psychic powers even. Trusting your intuition, definitely trust your intuition this week. Uh, some of you could just be more psychic this week, like having more psychic feelings and, and gut feelings and all that. Trust all of that this week. Eight of Clubs, again, it has to do eights all about multiple paths, kind of like what we talked about, all about uh, mul doing multiple things and, and trying multiple ways to be successful. The Eight of Clubs people, though, I will say this, they are willing to like move mountains to make things happen. They're willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, to make something happen. So you might have to do that this week, you know, it might sound hard, but I think if you work extra hard this week, you'll see a lot of success uh, with, uh, you know, this card especially. And uh, finally, you have the Fool card. This card, this deck that I use has four of the major arcana from the tarot in the deck, and one of those cards happens to be the Fool. So a lot of you could be setting out on a new path, like starting something new, beginning something, starting a new path, a new way of being, a, a new way of doing things, even a new job, a new positions, uh, your own business, things along those lines. Uh, and, you know, you're kind of like, excited about it. What I'm getting, the message I'm getting right now is that it's kind of like one of those things where if you are starting something new, you're very much going to be a beginner at it, which is actually going, what, you know, the card's saying is that it's going to be beneficial to you because, you know, sometimes when we become an expert on things, you know, you'll hear experts say this, that, um, you know, when somebody becomes an expert, they forget about all like the important little beginner things, and, th and they don't think like a beginner. So it's like it's like you're going to be starting something new, and you might be thinking like a beginner, which will and, and you will be new at it, but that will actually be to your benefit uh, because you're looking at it with like fresh eyes, whatever you're doing, and that will lead to some success. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.